Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we are going to do an unboxing video of the 114th scale Tamiya Pole trailer. Now the reason I want to do an unboxing of this one is I've looked online a number of times and haven't found one that really shows you everything that's in the kit. And I'm excited about this because the pole trailer to me is very unique. So I think we'll just go right into it and uh, go right to the unboxing. Now what I'm kind of excited about with this one is it is the only trailer that they produce that is not based on the fifth wheel coupling. This is you, literally, it's being pulled behind the the, uh, the semi and on the fifth wheel coupling is the uh, apparatus that, you know, where the pipes are gonna fit and that moves with the towing of the trailer. So I actually think this trailer looks really, really good on the road. So let's go ahead and, and uh, unbox it. So those are the pipes that it comes with, which I think is pretty cool. That it comes with all of those. So actually, I'm going to put those over to the side here. They're, uh, they'll be in the way. And inside this, we have the ins pole trailer instruction manual, which Actually, this is going to be really fun to build because it's a completely different uh, hitch system for the rear of the of the semi. Um, and you know, the other cool thing about this is the fact that you can adjust the length of the trailer. So you know, as much as this comes with these you know large poles, um, you can put on, pretty much use it for anything. And I know others have used it for uh, being a logging truck, for for example. So let's just get rid of that and let's take out this first box here. So inside this one, okay, so we have the, the wheels for the trailer. Uh, these are some sidebars and other pieces to build it. I can see that uh, some of the support sections are in there and also the uh, the axles for the back end as well as some of the some suspension parts. Uh, this one here. Oh well you can see this is the this is the back end of the trailer. And what's in what I actually like about the pole trailer is it has this piece here. Now I know that the Tamiya semi trailer, like the uh, uh, the regular box trailer, does not. And typically, when you're seeing uh, semis on North American roads, this piece is there, and then of course you've got the the mud flaps either side. So I'm actually really liking the fact that that's there because it is not on some of their other other trailers. Then we have. Uh, some other pieces here. I can see that that's pr that'll be part of the attachment for the fifth wheel coupling. Um, some of these look like suspension uh, pieces right here. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I won't know. I mean, we'll we'll see as we build this. Then you have these are the stickers. So you can see you've got your choice of license plates, uh, some of the reflectors. Uh, logos not too many there, but there isn't much need for it on this particular model and There is your main Trailer plate for the rear. So everything about this trailer is actually going to get attached to This plate. I mean that is the back end that this is where the uh, uh, The back end is going to attach and then that's the the front end um, That's going to face the back end of the semi so that's actually pretty big. That wasn't as, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And of course, then you've got your amber uh, and red reflector lights as well. So I'll go ahead and put those pieces back. All right. I'll move that out of the way. Now. Lastly, let's see what we've got in in this box. Uh, 
Okay, so this <laughs> this is everything else. So obviously we've got our tires. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got all those all the tires for the for the semi or for the trailer. Uh, we've got these wood blocks. I actually have no idea what those are for yet. This is your pole. So this is what I was saying is adjustable. So we can make this any length you want. Now obviously for now I'm going to use it with the poles that the trailer comes with, but this can be adjusted to whatever it needs to be, so that's great. And then we've got all of our parts bags uh, with all of the different, you can see all of the different uh, shafts, your leaf springs are in there, uh, and the magnums. So that's part bag B. In part bag C, we have uh, all, all of the shock um, pieces. Uh, and I can see some of those pieces are for the wheels in terms of connecting them to the to the hub. Then you've got parts bag A, which has the metal plate. I think that's the one that's actually going to partly be for attaching uh, the front section, but actually I'm not too sure. That's a little shorter than, so I'm not I'm not too sure actually. But I can see that these parts here look like they're for the suspension. So more parts. Um, and then there's parts bag D, which you can see also has the, all the chains. So these are all the chains for um, attaching the pipes and securing them. And this metal plate here, yes, this is the one that I know is for the front of the uh, semi uh, in terms of attaching the front section that holds the, the front parts of the pipes when they're, when they're on the trailer. But I mean, there's lots of parts in here. Um, and then these here, they're part, they'll be for the poles as well. That'll be the attachment for the uprights, both on the front and the rear. So those, and those are metal. Those are 100% those are metal. And then this is more of the framework uh, for I'm sure the back end of the back end of the trailer. So I mean there's not too too many parts with this particular trailer, but man is it going to look cool when it's finished. Um, the only add-on that I'm doing th initially right off the bat is that I did uh, get some uh, bearings for the back for the for the for the wheels. I, d I didn't want to not put bearings in. Typically when I build a kit, I want to make sure that they're in um, so I don't have to take it all apart and rebuild. But um, later on, I will add the light kit because in a previous video, I think I mentioned that I wasn't too much of a fan of the way the, the, the lighting uh, or the way the lights were going into the back end. But I have a feeling that this one's a little different, so we're going to try it. So um, that is the unboxing of the of the uh, pole trailer i'm going to get to building this as soon as possible and then i will come back uh, with some tips and tricks just in terms of how i've built it um, but i can't wait to see the finished product because i've i just think this one looks really really cool so again there's your 1 14th uh, scale pole trailer and we'll be back uh, with the finished product <laughs> 